Good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday. It is time for Kids Talk Tuesdays. We are live on Facebook. And tonight, we have a wonderful show prepared for you. My apologies for um, being a few moments late with this being live. Of course, you never know what you're going to get. So um, I've had some technical difficulties, but we are continuing on with the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate all of those that will be joining us tonight. We have an amazing guest who I am so excited to present to you tonight. And I thank you all for sharing this video. We'll give you a few moments to go ahead and click the share or host a watch party even so that um, other people, you know, friends and family, especially children. We really want to motivate our youth. So if you are parents of a young children, um, any age, it doesn't matter. These power pack kids will definitely inspire them and we have a phenomenal young man that we are interviewing tonight i want to thank all of you for your patience um with us getting on through our technical difficulties but we are here and we are live so again take a moment to share the video even host a watch party we are excited about tonight so before I introduce our guest to you, let me just give you a little bit of background. If you're new to Kids Talk Tuesdays, Kid Talk Tuesdays is a platform for young kid authors and kid entrepreneurs to use their voice in a positive manner to inspire the world. There are so many talented youth out here and we wanted to create a platform for them to not only shine, but for them to actually motivate others Others to do the same. When you shine, you give permission to someone else to do the same. So we are excited. We have um, been going strong since the end of July. This is the month of September, September 1st. Happy September, everybody. We hope that this month will bring you many blessings and bring you joy and bring you great things. With that being said, um, Kids, t Kids Talk Tuesdays, excuse me, will air every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we are always live on Facebook. And then you can also um, watch or re-watch the interviews on my YouTube page, which is Manisha and Son. So you should not miss. If you can't make it at 6 p.m., we have it. We have an opportunity for you to tune into the YouTube page. Now, who are we? I am your host, Manisha King. I am the director of marketing and promotions at the King's Press LLC, which is a publishing company where we actually tell you know, use real people to tell powerful stories, producing infinite possibilities. We believe in lifting black voices. We believe that we have stories to tell. We believe in actually those that of any um, race for that matter that would like to share any power pack story, things that they have either been through, things that they are expertise at. So um, by any means, if you have anyone or know anyone that is interested in publishing a book, whether it be a children's book, a novel, um, a biography, or excuse me, yes, a biography, anything, um, we can help you. So let me tell you that you can actually get in touch with us by going to W www.kingspresspublishing.com. Again, that is www.kingspresspublishing.com. I am on Facebook as Manisha King, as well as Instagram and Facebook at the King's Press LLC. So we have an amazing show prepared for you. And let's go ahead without further ado and bring in our guest. Thank you, Tasha. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we are going to invite our guest. Let's see if he is ready. I'm looking and not yet. So let me check while we are waiting on our guest. Go ahead again. As I said before, please share the video. Please even host the watch party. I'm going to do that myself um, while we're waiting.
Let me see. Hmm. If this is your first time, leave in the comments that this is your first time. If you've been here before, let us know that you have watched this show and if you enjoy it, how much you enjoy it or what you've gotten out of it so far while we're waiting on our guest. Um, what you have to do, let me see, if you are watching, let me see. Okay, I can see. All right, that worked out. So you're waiting in the waiting room. So we are bringing on our guest. His name is James Collier the third. Hi, James. Hello. Hello. How are you this evening? Doing great. Great, great. Let me adjust my camera for a moment so that I'm not cutting off my head. So, how was school today? It was great. Great. And yesterday was your first day. You happy to be back? Yeah. Awesome. So we're so glad to have you on the show tonight. Um, I've been following you now, James, actually for a couple of years. I know I've, um, once you got started, I believe it may have been last year that your mom introduced me to the work that you were doing and have been doing. And I've been following you ever since. So I am a fan. I want you to know that. Great. Great. <laughs> Um, and so let's talk about who you are. I'm going to give you a moment. If you would please introduce yourself to our audience tonight. Tell us a brief um, bit of your background, please. All right. So my name is James Collier III. I am in the fifth grade, and I am 10 years old. I like the Harry Potter series. I like reading and my dog. I am born in Atlanta, Georgia, and I live in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. That is great. And so I heard you have some great news to share tonight before we get started with everything. This is your anniversary of launching your series, your book series. Right. It's my second anniversary of Sunk Mania Galaxy. Awesome. Tell us about that. Tell so Sunk Mania your... Galaxy, as you can see here, here's the first book and I'm about to um, give you the second one. Fantastic. So, Sunk Many Galaxies is a comic book series. I can, as you can see on one of the pages, it's a comic book. Yes. So, Sunk Many Galaxies is a comic book series. With, and I wrote my book in 2018. It was released in, the first book was released in 2019. 2000, I wrote it in 2018 on this day. And... Uh, it was turned and it was got published and everything in 2019. So I wrote this book in 2019 and it's just getting published a few days ago. Awesome! I am so happy. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very. And and you know what else? So my my comic book just got certified by the National Space Foundation as an art that promotes space exploration and knowledge. So it's actually a real galaxy. You know how it says Sunk Mini Galaxy on the cover? Yeah, that's a real galaxy. Wow, congratulations. That is a huge accomplishment, James. It is. I'm, I'm very well, excited about it. Too. Yeah, you ought to be, and you ought to be proud. I am. So so tell us a bit about um, your series. What kinds of um, information or content is in your Galaxy series? So my, so my book promotes how to overcome and stop bullying. That's my whole, that's how, what my whole company is about. It's about anti-bullying and how to stop bullying. And I also created some t-shirts. Here's one of the latest designs. About a year ago it came out. And I it's called it. Book Over Bullying. And also, right here, Be a Boss, Not a Bully. You see it? 
Yes. The Fox Mother Bonidad is our best seller. It's your best seller. <laughs> you right. already know. That is great. So um, tell me about some of the ways that you sell your um, products. So I sell it on Amazon for about $13. If you see me at one of my events, which um, we're stopping events until COVID-19, you know how that's bad and stuff. So we're just yeah. waiting until COVID-19 lifts up, then we're back up and running with events and stuff. And you'll be able to buy buy these for about $10. So you okay. buy those with about $10. The t-shirts are 5 And these little wristbands, these wristbands, as well as this anti-bullying pledge, these are free. And every single, it, so we're trying to get 20,000 of these to be out to kids around the world. So I, I already have, um, I already have six, six countries. It's in Thailand, Dubai, Nigeria, Canada, and of course the U.S. all around the East Coast. You will see if I have to, I would go all the way up down to about Atlanta, and and I saw, I went to Pittsburgh too, which is where my mom and you uh, were cheerleading together in the eighth grade. You are so right. So yeah, just giving a little bit of that um, backstory. So yes, James's mother and I were cheerleaders at Rosenstein Middle School in our eighth grade year. So um, we go way back. And so which is the reason why, of course, I had started following him as soon as his mom announced um, the great work that he was doing. And like I said, I've been proud of you ever since. And I know that there's so much more that you're going to do. I mean, you are a phenomenal young man. You speak well. You articulate yourself well. Your energy is amazing. I can tell that you just have a path created that you're going to continue and you're going to flourish and be progress and you know and progress along the way. So thank you so much. Um, for one, joining us, being here with us, and then also sharing everything that you're doing. Let's go back to what you just said about like the countries that your um you said your wristbands or the pledges are in the countries in those six um, both. countries so both. The wrist, so basically basically when we when we're out and we see a kid at a vending event i would be out trying to get them to sign the anti-bullying pledge and i would have the wristbands on my thumb with and the, it was, i'll basically give it to them like this okay i'm trying to get it right so you can get the angle <laughs> Yeah, get it right. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I give it to them like that with this, uh -huh. is, this is how it looks in the back. I'll I'll give them to the kids like that and tell them to come over to my um come over to my table, which I would usually have a table inside or outside events. So yes, that's yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and that's a great strategy. I love it, and I love that you're giving them something that they can remember um, the pledge that they're taking. They can always, um, you know, have that as a memory and as a symbol of their commitment. So that is powerful in itself. I love that it's um, spread and you've given it out in many different countries. Um, that's not something that every 10-year-old can say. So again, kudos to you. Um, kudos to your family. Let's Thank talk you. about, you're welcome. Let's talk about um, with this pledge. You know, where did all of this start? The pledge, the anti-bullying mission, where did all of this start, James? So um, I wrote my comic book. It started, all started out with a tiny little, maybe about four page comic book where I would, I was, I was being bullied in about the second grade in aftercare. So I was just sitting there, no one to play with since no, since I was social bullied, which is when you are left out of activity. So let's just say that if there's this kid who has a super cool birthday party with all of your favorite stuff. And then he doesn't, he invites everyone else, but he doesn't invite you just for one simple thing. That's, that's social bullying. And also social bullying would also be rumors, spreading rumors and stuff and lying on people. So, right. Yeah. You're so right, and um, and you're actually brave to be able to tell that story and to actually turn it into a powerful purpose and mission. 
So um, many cannot do that. And there are, unfortunately, some people that couldn't even um, move on through the bullying, you know, and so tragic things has occurred. So your message is so important for children all over. So right. Thank you. You're welcome. And then, um, so you chose to create an opportunity for yourself and for others with this anti-bullying initiative and mission through firsthand experience. Um, how did it feel at the time when you were experiencing the bully, the bullying? It was awful. I look. I got bullied by every single type of bullying except for cyberbullying because I had, like, no online access at all. I didn't even have a phone back then. Well, most six-year-olds have a phone back then. Yeah. I only had about barely any online access. So I haven't been social bullied until I have some online access, which only about two to three um, devices I have on so for social access. But enough about that. But there's the three types of bullying that I believe. I already told that I've been book that I uh, that, that I have been experienced. Sorry. First okay, one, take it I already went through social bullying. I already went went through that. Talked to you about that. I went through mm -hmm. also verbal bullying, which is name calling. Then physical bullying. You now I know what physical means: punching, mm -hmm. kitchen, getting to the action. That's basically what physical bullying is. So I. For physical bullying, I was um, choked trying to get one of those little um, straws to make a little um, character. And okay. for name calling, it was the, the person who was bullying me, because there's always the same kid, always the okay. same kid, it was repetitive. He would always, okay. in the hallway, he would always sneak a little, um, sneak a little name name in into my name. Okay. Into my ear. Because we're, we're always on the halls, on the third block. So he would yeah. always. So he would try to, when we see each other in the hall, he would try to either mouth a, mouth a word that a name, a name, or he would either whisper it to me. Okay. And it was okay. very annoying. Yeah, that can be annoying. I can imagine. Um, and so with you experiencing that, James, what would be? What is the main or the overall goal or message that you want to send out to other children who may have experienced bullying or are being bullied? So if you are being bullied, there's, for first, I'll go through three ways to stop a cyber bully. So one is you can speak up, ignore them, tell them to stop, or do not respond in a negative way. You can also leave the group or team, start a new team, or play another game play another game or get off social media. You can also report them, block them, learn the rules of the app or system, and use it to report repeat cyber bullies. Hey, that's that's some good stuff right there. Did you did you have any um of the other forms of bullying how you would advise or what you would say to other children? Yeah, so of, I put some um details in the back of the comic book. I put all the four types of bullying in the back of my comic book. And here's okay. the original three way stop a stop a bully. There's a shirt on this right here with the okay. three characters. There is one three way one that you can ignore, walk away, or tell an adult about it. So for ignore if someone's bullying bullying you, just don't even don't even acknowledge it. You can also walk away, and also you can tell an adult about what's happening. But normally, the adult won't do anything. For sixty nine percent of adults who have seen bullying, well, sixty nine of kids, sixty nine percent of kids who have been bullied in front of a teacher, the teacher wouldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. the same thing happened to me. The, um. Yeah. When some two of the people in my class, we were we're not we're now friends and stuff, but we back then he would call me names right in front of the teacher. So the teacher would be in the circle table table, mm -hmm. and the person who keeps calling out the names, I can hear him loud and clear.
Sorry, I didn't look at you. I would get in trouble Sorry. because I'm trying to tell him what's up. I get in trouble, but not him. Yes, I totally understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, and I agree with you wholeheartedly that there are oftentimes in the classroom where bullying is ignored. And I definitely believe that it is the teacher's responsibility to interfere and to get involved to make sure that children feel safe and that it is a learning environment, you know, conducive for learning. So I'm glad that, again, you took initiative to speak up for yourself and to be an advocate to stop this. And your messages to other children um, is great. You're right on. So um, we got an opportunity, and thank you for sharing all of that. We learned about your book, um, what your book is about, your series, the um, background information, how you got where you are, things that you have been contributing to this anti-bullying movement. Um, now let's kind of talk a little bit more about your writing process. Um, when you started writing your book, tell us how did that, how did that go for you? So first I get the basic idea of what I have. So basically, so it would be like, it would be like maybe an evil villain and then what happens, what the villain does, basically the plot of the story and everything else. And then I'll write the overall story before I do the script. Okay. And then after that, I'll do all the new, new characters design and stuff. I can't really draw. So uh -huh. but, I do all the characters' description, height, weight, all the way down to blood type. Okay. So, wow. So after oh, yeah. that, I have a little description, and then out, and then I would start writing the script. I have to write it up in this little journal with the cover of this book on it. As a little cover, it's 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 not for sale, but we are working on that. Okay. And, but that journal has a bunch of stuff. I used to run this show about, about every Thursday, maybe, every mm -hmm. Wednesday. Um, it's either thir Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I would run this little show about um, talking about bullying and stuff on my YouTube channel live. Okay. So, those are still on my YouTube channel. I, I don't know my current YouTube channel, um, name but try looking up I I I I the number four M E I N C the anti bullying movement it might show up there and um okay. here here's the logo of it right here. All right. Like. Thank you. Good. Thank you. So that will help a lot of the viewers. Um and then we can also make sure that it's in the comment if we need in the comment section if we need to correct it. Okay. All right. So um, with your process, would you say, James, that it was easy, hard, uh, scary, or fun? It was, a little bit of, it was a little bit of fun and hard because it was hard because I type very slow and I have to, I have, to have the journal in my hands and then have to type with one hand so it's extra slow and plus I have to go box one and then I have to put the character name and then I have to put what they have to say and then enter after that and that's for and then let's just say page page one box one this this person says this and then box two this person says this all the way to box four and 18 pages of that, of that okay. for typing it up and um, writing the script and then after that I would do the basic drawing of it like do the base characters of it like little stick figures since I can't really draw that good. Uh huh. And then after that I would send it to the artist, um, Ahmed Saltow. He's all the way from Egypt. Oh. So I sent I send it to him and then after I send it he does he does the work and then now we come out with these drawings. Fantastic. So you have a pretty tedious process and that's a lot for you to have to do um especially like you said the single hand typing while you're still hold, holding a journal and things so that sounds pretty tedious and like you said hard right but you got through it and you've done it more than once right, right? 
Right. So that's, so that's great. That's great. And you keep on pushing. Um, and then as you get that keyboard, suddenly, you know, you start learning how to type with both both hands and you'll be on your way where it won't you'll say oh this doesn't take as much time you know as i thought it did and but even doing it single-handedly right now you're getting the work done so that's very important and i'm glad to hear that right thank you so thank you for being glad by the way <laughs> you're so welcome so we we learned that your process was hard um and you have a lot you have a thorough process, just hearing your feedback and you letting us know all the work that went into it, that's pretty thorough. So um, that's, again, a, a lot to be proud of and a lot to say to someone else that might be interested in maybe writing and publishing, um, you know, comic books, because comic books are very different than, you know, just a regular book with text or a children's book with just text so um that process can be different so um let's talk about your favorite highlight you being a kid author you getting an opportunity to go out and sell books um to do events to even speak because you've done some public speaking as well right right i speak at schools everywhere Yes. So what would you say was your favorite highlight so far of being a kid author? Um, I guess my favorite highlight. Hmm. What basic and also just before we I get to that, there's one more step after the artist sends it in. We then um send it to the pub but before we send it to the publisher, which is basically like the, we're done with it, then the publisher sends it in through the mail, then we start getting more copies of it. Right. I would check to see, because normally there would be an extra page in here, so we are we getting rid of that. So there's, we didn't go through, it's not really finished yet since we see that extra page with the barcode. Mm -hmm. So we get rid of that and also make some final changes, because I had to make some final changes, like change the ending of the second book, which is I had to do before it came out. I don't uh -huh. know to you the page. It used to be on, it, he didn't, so it used to be only this box right here on the top, but okay. now I added this extra box, which he made it look super cool. Uh-huh. So we're, now all we have to do is just get rid of the extra box, get rid of that extra um, page, and then, and then it's ready to, to, for sale. Good, good. So, so after you, um, did the writing and things when you said you sent it off to the publisher. Um, so before that, you had to make sure that it was formatted correctly, right? Yes, right. Good. So, and you got a part to be, a, you got an opportunity to be a part of a lot of that process, which is really good because there will come a time when, you know, you would even master those skills yourself. You're, and so, you know, as you're learning, then why not, you know, once you, I know how to do it now, then I can do this on my own. So I'm glad that you're getting that experience. So we're going to go back to the question um, that I asked about the highlight of being a, a kid author. What is that for you? The best highlight is I'm I'm going to a vending event and a, and a little, or I, um, also a speaking engagement. So the best highlight would either be going through the notes in the car or on the way there, because it might be like a three-hour drive since we go from, we went to New York for an event. I think okay. it was an interview. It was an interview, live interview in New okay. York. And I think, yeah, that's pretty much the best highlight, looking over the stuff in the car. And basically the ride there taught me about everything. Yeah. And before we go, we would make sure we have everything and also, another good highlight would be setting up the table. I would usually have this um, green background. I'm about to show it, show it to you. I usually have this green wallpaper. Okay. On my on in front of my desk, in front okay. of my table, and I have yeah. everything set out. So I have these little stands that would show up my comic book leaning up, and that's where we get the comic books from. And then we have folded T-shirts in our trunks. It's amazing. 
All right. It sounds amazing. And getting to travel, to speak at engagements as a 10-year-old, and you probably were maybe like even nine at the time or eight, um, that's phenomenal. That's experience that you will remember forever, right? Right. I will remember it and cherish it, too. Yeah, good, good. So was there anything that you would say might be your least favorite thing about being a kid author? Um, the least favorite is, hmm, the least favorite, obviously, is typing typing it up because it, I'm, I'm so slow at typing. Even if I have to type it on the phone, it's even worse. Uh-huh. I've been like Sending it to mom, that, that's even worse. Like sending up the first page, making sure it's all good, that's even worse. I could imagine. <laughs> no one wants to spend all that time doing that. So I definitely um, understand where you're coming from. So let's, we talked a little bit again about your book, what your book is about, the work that you're doing, your writing process, um, how that's been going for you, your involvement in it. Now let's um, get to know, do you have any upcoming, I know you said your um, second book is going to be published in a few days. Do you have anything that you're currently working on or um, other than your second book? Or let's talk about your second book. But if you have something besides that, let's find out about that as well. So upcoming projects. What's next for James? All right. So I have two things. One, um, it's already published. All I have to do is to send it back to the editor, um, just edit it and stuff. And then it's all good. It's already published. And mm -hmm. it's also certified. But another, the upcoming projects would be on September 27th, we have the an annual anti-bullying three for me, three, bullying ends with me rally. That's my hashtag, bullying ends with me. Okay. I love that and, hashtag. <laughs> and um, we would have it on, on the 27th and the open openings of little if someone wants to sign up for it as well we'll have some d-days there um online it's, it's going to be pretty amazing um the registration is just open today okay awesome. so if you, want to, if you want to join the registration is just on, open today yes is there a fee to register james i think it's on my um i think it's on my website at iii the number four M E I N C. Okay. Um, so if anyone is interested, if and we encourage you to go ahead and register for um, his event on September the 27th. I believe it is going to be an amazing event, just as he said, and we definitely want to support him. Now, I know that you said we can purchase your books on Amazon. I'm assuming we can also get them from your website. Right. The website will take you to Amazon. So. Okay. Got it. Okay, great. So those are ways um, following, going on to Amazon and um, put in your title. Just give us your title again. Um, the title of the comic book? Yes. The Adventures of Sunk Mania Galaxy. Okay. The Adventures of Sunk Mania Galaxy, and we will make sure that's in the comment section as well, so that if you're interested and you want to purchase uh, books from James, please do that, um, gift them to children, or if you have children yourselves, and then also we want to encourage you to register for his amazing event coming up on September the 27th. So James, great. I'm glad to hear that you, you know, that these things are working out and you have future events in line, even flourishing through the pandemic, because that's not easy. So I'm glad that that's working out for you. Um, Final, before we get to um, close out, and there will be a special moment that I want you to take, um, let's just talk about a little bit of things that excite you. You seem like a very um, interesting, involved, outgoing kid. I'm going to give you a few categories, and I just want you to tell me really quickly what's your favorite in those categories so we can know some more about James. So, James, what's your favorite book besides your own? My favorite what? Your favorite book. Book? I'm going to start um, with it. It's the Harry Potter series. The Harry Potter series. Okay. I'm on the fourth, um, I'm on the fourth book now, and I already watched all the movies. 
All right. Awesome. What about, do you have a favorite toy? Favorite toy? I don't have any actual toys that I like, but uh -huh. if, but I like my Nintendo Switch. Okay. All right. So gaming system, yes, that's that can, can be considered a toy, especially at your age. Let's move on to hobbies. What's your favorite hobby? Um, hobbies would be either reading or playing video games. Awesome. How about spending time? Who do you like to spend time with the most? My dog or my mom. Your dog or your mom. What's your dog's name? Uh, my dog's name is um, Prince. Prince. I put him under my my surname, so his name is Prince. His full name is Prince Edward Collier. Oh, cool. All right. Awesome. Um, do you have a favorite singer? Favorite singer? I would say Post Malone. Post Malone. Okay, I like his music. Um, how about a dance? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> I don't like TikTok. I hate it. Uh-uh. I don't have a favorite dance at all. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. No, it's all from TikTok. So most kids uh, that I've been interviewing lately, they they don't have they don't have a favorite dance. I find that very interesting, but um, I understand it nevertheless. So let's move on to. Do you have a favorite food? Um, my favorite food would either be a hamburger, especially from Burger King, or maybe a Chick Fil A sandwich. Okay. I haven't tried the Popeyes yet, so I didn't know. What, I don't know which is better. Have not tried Popeyes. What? <laughs> I, I now, have tried the chicken legs, but I haven't tried their their um chicken sandwich yet. Okay, all right. I won't I won't spoil anything for you. You'll have to try it one day. I'm sure you will. All right. So, all right. So, thank you, James, for um, letting us know your favorite thing um, in those categories. Now, before we close out. This is the moment, this is the time in the show where if there was any lasting word or comments that you can share with our viewers, what would you want to leave our audience with tonight? So you can also see my Facebook page at III, the number four, M-E, the anti-bullying movement. And I forgot about my Facebook and Instagram. I know my Facebook, I just don't know my um. Instagram and Twitter, so, but I will email that um, later. Okay. All right. And if you can offer a final word or comment to our audience, what would you say? I would say, um, and also, if you are a bully, you're making yourself look bad because you know that something's wrong um, up in your heads inside you know that something's wrong and you're inflicting it and you're inflicting it on others so that makes you look bad and also if you see bullying make sure to in intervene in what hap in what's happening because about 54 percent of bullying ends in about le in less than 10 seconds if you just intervene so if you're a child and you've seen some bullying Maybe if you see um, a kid get posted on the wall or someone goes to someone's backpack and intervene. That is very important. Like you said, James, um, it can definitely stop with intervention and it doesn't have to go far if people would take the pr proper um, stance and the proper procedures to get involved to say no, to stop it, and not feel like it is someone's personal issue, but that we all have to take a responsibility in stopping bullying, especially if we are present, or even if we know about it and we've heard about it. Would you agree? Yes. Yes, for sure. So thank you. Um, that is a great lasting message. I do hope that people will take that message and that it will resonate within them and that they will remember even this conversation um, or this uh, and take an opportunity to make sure that no one feels unsafe and that no one is feeling that it's okay to bully. So I thank you for everything that you're doing, James. I thank you for the work that you have already done. And as I Not said, done. I thank you for interviewing me. You're so welcome. I know this is just 
the beginning for you. There's great things in store. I'm going to be reading more and more and watching more and more about you. And so I'm just glad that you took the opportunity to come in and share with us on Kids Talk Tuesday tonight and on your anniversary of launching mm -hmm. your book series. Yes, you are so welcome. So um, please stay in touch and we will make sure, as I said, all of your information is left in the comments. And I want you to have a great week in school, okay? Okay. All right. Continue to be amazing. Oh, I, I just posted my Twitter and Instagram in the um, in the comment section. So if you see the Instagram and um, Twitter, Twitter, you will see it in the comment section under my name. My man. Talk about being ready and prepared. That's great. So... Um, we're going to go ahead and close out. Thank you again. And we hope to be a part of what you're doing. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Tell mom. Bye. 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 So thank you guys again for tuning in tonight. Um, we truly enjoyed our interview with James Collier the third. As you can see, he is doing amazing things. Um, he has been traveling as a kid author. He has been really pushing his anti-bullying message and he will continue to do so. We hope that you will support him, that you will go alongside and um, connect with him through his social media handles and um, actually purchase products and engage. If you are in the area where he will be holding his uh, live event on September 27th, um, do take some children, you know, mentors that may be out there, um, families, you may even take your neighbors, but take a group of children, um, get them exposed, get them out involved and engaged. I hope that you were inspired by his story. I hope that there's something in you tonight that said, you know what? Um, I'm going to get started. If you're a young kid, hopefully there's something to say. I'm going to start on with an idea that I have. If you hadn't started yet, or if you already started, hopefully now you're saying, I'm going to continue. I'm going to be proactive. I'm going to take initiative. I'm not going to wait. As you heard his story, you heard there were so many um, components that he is a part of and actively involved with. And so you're never too young. It's never too late. Um, even if you're an older child and um, you've been thinking of some ideas, get started, get going. Um, we thank you again for tuning in tonight to Kids Talk Tuesdays. We hope that you will tune in every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook Live. If you miss the live, you can watch the replay on YouTube with my Nisha and Sons. Um, our YouTube channel is Mynesha and Sons. Please continue to share the videos. Please continue to um, send your comments, even questions. And especially if you know any children that are authors or kid entrepreneurs, we are always looking to add um, to our lineup. We have a phenomenal lineup for you at James Kick. James kicked it off tonight. Um, we shared the future artist, authors, excuse me, and entrepreneurs that will be on for the remaining uh, Tuesdays in this month. But we're also looking to fill up October. So again, if you know some children out there that are doing amazing things um, that are either entrepreneurs or authors, please don't hesitate to send them our way. It will be best to contact me through my website, which is www.kingspresspublishing.com. But you also can reach out to me on Facebook. I am Mynesha King. also have the King's Press LLC on Facebook and Instagram. And I also want to share with you before we close out that every Saturdays, I do a read along for young children, grades K through five, reading um, stories that were helping them with reading development. We're doing things like making inferences, character identification, cause and effect, um, what uh, comprehension, working on comprehension, as well as uh, there was one left out, oh, expanding or uh, 
excuse me, I'm getting tongue tied. I'm a little tired too, but I'm building vocabulary. So hopefully you will tune in with smaller children on Saturdays. That is at 12 noon every Saturday on Facebook Live. And um, just look out for future events that we are doing because we do have some things in the works and we would like you to be a part um, as well as support. So thank you for your time this evening. You guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Continue to be a light and the love of sun, someone's life and spread love as much as you can. Thank you so much. Good night.